Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Scott from Historic Marietta, Georgia, on behalf of Jazz Medical and Wellness Center. Um, I wanted to read this. This was I shared this actually yesterday uh, on a post, but I wanted to read it because I want people to hear it. Okay, this is. Um, it means a lot to me because I'm, I've been really getting on this a lot with this pedophile stuff and these kids that get kidnapped every year. And we lose over 800,000 women in, and children every year that get abducted. And you would think that this would be front page news. You know, it's not the first time I'm saying this, but it's like you would think it would be everywhere and anywhere and that we would try to make this come to an end. You know, and uh, my little analogy that I give to it, man, if, if a plane was going down all the time and we were losing 800,000 people a year, the government put those planes on the ground until they found what the hell was going on. Are these children and women not worth it to, to really go after it? I, I truly believe that it's coming and I believe that President Trump is doing something about it. I believe organizations like Railroad, uh, Underground Railroad, you know, Tim Ballard, is, is he's a hero as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'll talk more about that in, in a little bit, but I wanted to share this post verbally that I that this woman uh, what what a what a great post she created Christina Grant and she she wrote this here and I want you to think about how you're putting a mask on your children and you think you're helping them you're not you know it you, you, I don't know almost what to say anymore you know you hear and see everything else on the internet you see that maybe you might want to wear one you can't tell me you're not hearing that these kids don't get it and that they don't share it because it's all over the place you know but yet i see two four eight you know six year old five year olds whatever and in my church was another thing you know and i love my church you know um but seeing these kids wear a mask because they think these kids are going to get it you're doing them a favor the kids don't get it what you're doing is you're hiding their identity and it's becoming more dangerous to them than you realize this is a share that Christina wrote and I shared it and she shared it. I took it from her to share because it was word sharing. And I just want to read this to you quickly because it makes sense. I always say it's never important until it's you. Can you tell the difference between these kids? And she put up a picture of all these kids sitting on the stairs and it's on my wall if you want to see it. Can you tell that they're sad or asking for help? Could you pick them out in a crowd of a thousand people? By requiring kids to wear masks, whether in stores, in schools, or public place, you are robbing them of the one hope of being found in the event that they get taken. You have to see their face. You have to let these kids express. Did you know that more than 2,000 missing children with child reports are filed each year? and that many of them can be easily found when parents provide specific details about their physical appearance and a photo of their face. Did you know that a child in America is over 66,000 times more likely to be human trafficked than to get COVID-19? So do you realize that requir by requiring children over the age of two to wear a mask, you are making child abduction and human trafficking so much easier on the offenders. So if you don't believe me, there's a story here that I want you to look up. Elizabeth Smart was abducted for nine months and her abductor took her out in the public all the time. Her face was plastered everywhere and burned into everyone's minds. Everyone was looking for her. She was even questioned by the police prior to being rescued. But because he made her wear a mask, nobody could tell it was her. You want to keep doing this? You think not your child? You turn your head for a split second and your kid is gone? Put a hat and a mask on a child and they look no different than 2,000 other kids around them. Put a mask on a child and then they are unable to to non-verbally communicate to anyone around them who might be able to help them. How many children do you think are out walking through the stores or through the streets with their abductors yet go unnoticed because wearing a mask or even a total face covering isn't abnormal anymore? 
This issue is not about politics or schools or the virus. This is about children. So ask yourself this. Do the benefits outweigh the risks? Making a child wear a mask may or may not protect them from a virus that they may or may not even get anyways, that they may or may not have already had. And it was also open, it will also open the door for so many offenders who have lurked in the shadows, afraid to act, to do just that. Go out and actually take a child. Is it worth the risk? So I will ask all of you to share this video and play it. Play it and play it and play it. And I want to thank Christina Grant. God bless you for creating this. This is excellent. Excellent, excellent. Because it makes sense. Kids don't get this. And you're not helping them. By covering their face and making it much easier for them to abduct these kids. <clears throat> 800,000 children and, and women every year. Just because they're not yours doesn't make this unimportant. And the mask is not the issue today. Start listening and reading and listening some more. Please, you're putting these kids at risk, in danger. You less self-confidence you're giving them. These kids that are already stressed with ADD, ADHD, Asperger's, you can go on and on and on. This is not helping these children. So parents, please do your research on this with children and wearing a mask. They don't get it and they don't share it. Please share this video. It means a lot to me. I have a child that's been assaulted. It's not fun. It's not. And it's heartbreaking. And again, I will always say it. It never seems to be important until it's you. There is an organization that I, I belong to and I'm gonna be putting this video on there for everybody to share and donate. I don't care if you donate a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Whatever you feel you'd like to give because Mr. Tim Ballard from Underground Railroad is doing an amazing, an amazing job in rescuing children around the world, not only in this country, but around the world. And he's now saved, I believe, over 2,090 or 2,100 children at this point. He can't keep doing it without support. He gets limited support, which shocks me, you know, but it doesn't in a way, right? This is why these fundraisers, when you give a dollar or three dollars or five dollars or whatever else that it is that you can give makes a difference. When you can mul multiply that by 500 or 1,000 or 20,000 or 40,000, that three dollars becomes big money to help these guys do their job. He's ex-CIA, he's got, he works with many different police around the world and in this country to help save these children and put those who are responsible behind bars. Look up Tim Ballard, please, from Underground Railroad. He's doing amazing work. Please share, like, love this video as much as you can. You just might save a life. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Scott Perlman on behalf of Jazz Medical and Wellness here in historic Marietta, Georgia. And as I always say, do your research. And it's important to me that it's important to all of you, always. Thank you so much. God bless and have a fantastic, healthy day. Bye-bye.